Hi book friends! Today I'll be reading Red Leaf, Yellow Leaf. It's a book about the sugar maple tree. It's a very colorful, beautiful book. Let's begin the story. Here we go. I've been saving this little leaf from my sugar maple tree so I could show it to you. I love my tree. It was born long before I was. The wind blew seeds from the big maple trees in the woods. They twirled and whirled as they fell to the ground. So those are the seeds that belong to the sugar maple tree. And you see them? They're falling to the ground. Seeds the squirrels didn't find lay sleeping among the leaves until they were covered with snow. Do you see that beautiful squirrel? I see the head right here and the eye and the little ear holding a seed. And I see a seed here and here and there's seeds under the leaves. And when it gets cold, they're gonna be covered with snow. When spring sun warmed the seeds, they sprouted and sent roots down into the soil. Tiny leaves unfolded on their stems. These are the stems. The stems grew from that seed buried underground. And these are the buds. And from the buds grow the tiny little leaves. I think my tree would have been happy to stay there forever. But one day, nursery workers came to the woods to collect tree sprouts. You see the big gloves here? And the stem that they're pulling out of the ground? And these are the roots. These thin little stems that you see are roots and they're very fragile. The nursery workers have to be very careful. They transplanted the sprouts and tended them year after year. Just as the trees were settling in, they were measured, marked, and uprooted again. You see? That's the mark right there. And it says, fall delivery to the garden center. So the stems that you see here, these stems, they grew into this. Yeah, those stems become the tree trunk. And from the tree trunks grow more stems becoming the branches. And you see all the birds enjoying the tree. This bird is called a black capped chickadee. Oh, because they have little black heads. I don't think I've ever seen a black capped chickadee but they're very cute. And now this little baby tree is going to the garden center. Each ball of roots was wrapped and tied with twine. So the roots are being wrapped with the burlap. It's called a root ball and it's tied up with the twine. It's a sugar maple tree. My tree was loaded onto a truck filled with other trees and delivered to the garden center. Oh, I love the garden center. One of my favorite places to go. We went there in the fall and picked out my tree. Dad had a hole already dug waiting for it. So they went to the garden center or to the plant store. Oh, and there's different trees. This tree here is a silver maple. And this tree here is a Norway maple. But they picked out the sugar maple tree. When we got home, we lowered my tree into the hole. I held the trunk while Dad covered the roots with soil. So they're planting the tree in a hole and they're using a round pointed spade to dig the hole 
and to put the soil on top of the tree of that root ball that we saw wrapped up. Yeah, they're putting soil on top of it, covering it up. And what does the soil have? That's right, there's worms in the soil. Ooh, that's a good sign. Nice, healthy soil. Now, every night before I go to bed, I peek out the window and wave to my tree. How sweet. When it snows, I hang up treats for the birds. Oh, another good idea. The child feeds the birds in the winter, making little seed treats. That one is in the shape of a heart. This is called a suet bag. I think there's seeds in there. And this is a new bird. This is a downy woodpecker. Oh, I don't think I've seen a downy woodpecker, but I have seen a woodpecker before. Mm-hmm, they're big. And this is another treat right here. It looks like a pine cone. So beautiful. So they planted the tree in front of the child's window. So every night, the child waves at the tree, good night. Maybe even in the morning. Hello, good morning. Oh, very nice. Each spring, I look for signs that my tree is growing. And what are the signs? Like young maple leaves, the small young new leaves. Yeah, that must mean that the tree is growing. And also, they look for maple tree flowers. And that's something that I didn't know. I didn't know trees bloomed flowers. Well, the sugar maple tree does. They're yellow and small. Oh, and do you see the kite stuck in the tree? Yeah, I've done that before. By late summer, the crown of leaves is bushy and green. I love it when the tree flowers turn into winged seeds. So that's something else I'm learning, that the flowers here that we saw, those flowers become the seeds. How cool is that? Yeah. And they are fun to look, to look at when they fall down because they kind of do a little dance as they go down. They twirl down. It's really nice. And look. This is a paper airplane stuck in the tree. Mmm, that child is having lots of fun outside. And the tree is very green. But if you want to visit my tree, come in the fall. That's my favorite time. Can you guess why? Hmm, if I had to guess, I think the child likes the fall because the leaves change colors. They go from green to yellow to red or orange. Yeah, I love the fall. Oh, it's my favorite season for that same reason, because the leaves change color. And that's the end of the story. We learned so much. We learned about the little leaves, how they turn color. That's the same leaf as this one. We learned about the roots and the little buds, where the leaves come from. These here are the summer seeds. And these here are the fall leaves. So these are kind of fresh and these are dried up. And this here is the flowers from the tree. Yeah, we learned so much. And it even talks about planting a tree and what and how you should do it, the right way to do it, like selecting the right tree when you go to the garden center and the planting times, the best time to plant a tree. So beautiful. And it even has a little recipe on how to make a bird treat. Oh, what a wonderful story. It really inspired me to go to the garden center and look for a tree. And maybe I can plant a tree.
and watch it grow. Mm, that would make me so happy. Well, I hope you learned something new and that now when you go to the garden center or maybe if you've never been to the garden center, you can ask your grown up so you can look at the different types of trees that you can get. Wouldn't that be fun? Well, until next time, bye book friends.